It's laundry day again, and we are joined now by our friend, my friend, the guru of laundry greatness, Katherine Hartman from Biz. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. I love having you because I got to tell you, you've been with us whew, more than a year now, yeah. and uh, there's nothing you can't do. We have learned so much with our Laundry Made Simple series. Yeah. Your tips are amazing, and you know what? Even our viewers, well, you know this, even our viewers yeah. out there are writing to you. You're getting a lot of emails I am, and letters. I'm getting a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting a lot of emails and letters. And we on the show, our producers are getting emails from people that are giving biz a try. And their biz experience is beyond belief. Did you like that alliteration? Yes. I loved it. And we have a great letter from somebody in Missouri. She's a very special lady. And she has a problem that a lot of us go through. Remember this one? Yes, let's, let's share it. Let's show our viewers. Lindsay from Missouri shared this story. She showed us how she saved her designer purse by using biz, of course, <laughs> to clean those tough stains on the inside. Here's a picture of her purse before and now after she used biz. And you know, she had those terrible lipstick stains. Yeah? We know, yeah. Uh -huh. I'll throw my lipstick, the red one. I'll throw mascara, eyeliner. My kids will throw pen. pen yep. But the infamous lipstick. And we have an example here, and I want you to show our viewers, because you're going to be surprised, ladies, if you are doing anything in the kitchen, get over here and look at the TV. Show <laughs> our viewers how this lipstick is going to come out. All right. Well, let's show the lipstick. First, let's show the purse. All right. Here's the purse with the lipstick. Let's see. That's a good angle. Oh, yeah. Look There's, at that. That's Christy's purse right there. <laughs> red lipstick. Love the red. All right. Let's first re-wet the area. With ladies, water. grab that coffee and watch this. Warm water right, first. So it's re-wet. Okay. Then I'm going to pour some... Is in the cap. Excellent. And I don't want to put it directly on because I don't want to use too much. So I'm going to use a toothbrush. Just a little goes a long way. Yeah, right? a little bit does go a long way. And I'm just going to brush it into that lipstick stain. And look at this. Well, as she's doing this too, I got to say, this is a great idea for the purse on the outside because when yeah. I put my purse on the floor, which by the way is bad luck. Oh, I know. Uh, my purse looks nasty on the bottom. Oh, my word. Look at that. Look at this. Look, wait, wait, I gotta really, really grab this and show it to the camera. Look at that, folks. The stain is remarkably gone. That is amazing. I, I just gotta see it right here up close and personal. You it's gone. It <laughs> what a great solution. And you know what's great? Now you got a brand new purse. Great, you don't have yeah. to put it away in the closet. You don't have to give it away. Finish I'm the just, process. Yep, I'm just gonna get some more water just to get the biz out of the cloth left in there. I can't believe this. And off. again, mascara, eyeliner, pen, yeah, pencil. It all works. You are the best. Oh. And biz, in my opinion, is the best. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Yes, definitely. All right, you gotta take your purse. Uh, yeah, I think I'll take it now. <laughs> Any cash inside? Just kidding. And to find out more helpful tips to fight those tough stains and get a money-saving coupon, just visit the website bizstainfighter.com. I'm telling you, this is amazing. Look at this.